Your Northwestern State head coach Rick Cabrera, another split weekend, home Saturday against Texas A&M Commerce, Monday night down at Nichols. Coach, uh, we can talk about the good that came out of Monday night, and that was your offensive execution minus turnovers. Uh, once you got down against, or once you got basically across half court against McNeese, shot the ball very well. Some things to build on, even if maybe that final score Monday doesn't reflect it. Yeah, man, we it's. You know, like the story of our season, and um, I'm not saying it as a complete negative. Uh, it's all a learning experience, but, you know, 10 minutes ago in that game, it's a 10-point game. Uh, you know, we make a couple open threes that we had. It's a different ball game. Uh, but we didn't. Um, so, you know, like you, you know, like you learn that you can play with anybody in this league, uh, but every possession matters. Um you know, live ball turnovers are the worst turnovers in basketball, and we gave them a lot. Uh, some of them were self-inflicted. Some of them was because of their really good defense. Um, that's what we learned. We watched film yesterday for about an hour and some change, and, um, you know, I think the guys were able to, you know, uh, to learn from it, um, you know, and we'll get better for it, you know, come Saturday. You get a little bit of a weird, or maybe not weird, but a, a non-routine and an opponent coming out of a non-routine week uh, to start things this weekend with Texas A&M, Texas A&M Commerce. They had to play last night, Wednesday night, uh, because of a weather-affected game. I know that doesn't change prep, but when you're in a routine like you've been, is it tough to, when you look at the other side, maybe for them to get out of that routine? Yeah, I mean, you know, it can be. Um, you know, I hope they have the heaviest legs they ever had on Saturday. But... Players like to play games, you know, so, um, you know, and them coming off a win, I think the adrenaline will sink in and, and with the opportunity to play another game. But it also helps in the scouting aspect of, you know, like now they have to jump into our scout on, uh, you know, on Thursday and Friday, you know, rather than the whole week. Um, but we'll see at the end of the day when the referee throws the ball up, uh, you know, you know, two teams are going to battle for an in-conference win, and 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 uh, you know, and hopefully we come up victorious. On paper, they're they're an interesting team. Uh, it's a team that that doesn't score a whole lot in conference play, shoots the ball a lot from outside, and then defensively, they have 30 more blocks than the next closest team in conference. So it's a it's kind of an all over the place team when you look at it. That's very intriguing. I didn't even know that stat. Um, I do know that they play really hard. They're tough, they're physical, um, you know, like they've had a couple injuries of some good players being out, um, very well coached. Um, so, you know, we're going to have our work cut out for us, and, and, and they're going to have their work cut out for them. Um, you know, we're coming off three straight losses, and we're playing at home, and, you know, the, uh, like the losing at home has to stop, and um, i got to do a great job of, of preparing my guys to win ball games uh, and, uh, you know, like not playing catch-up. You know, and, and uh, but we'll get back to that. You know, it's, you know, it's two teams that are fighting for, you know, like a seating in the playoffs and, um, you know, and we're just going to do well. Over the course of, well, now 21 games, you're going to play 31 in the regular season. Uh, different people are going to have big nights on, on different nights. And Chris Mubaru had his maybe coming out party, may not be the right word, but his most productive game of the year, uh, Monday night at McNeese. And, Freshmen sometimes take a little longer, uh, especially getting thrust into a, a mix like this where there weren't a lot of – there were some veteran guys, but not veteran guys from the time they've been here. What's his progress been like from game one to game 21? Yeah, Chris is a young man who, you know, you know I could admit I, I haven't had patience with because he was a freshman, but I've learned. You know, every day I learn – uh, I'll never stop learning as long as God keeps me on this earth. But I've learned that, you know, having short patience with him is not going to help him get better. Um, you know, because he's a young man that tries to do everything right. He's exceptionally coachable. Um, he tries to do right. He doesn't always do right, just like every player out there. Um, but when you have confidence in him and, and just kind of leave him alone, not saying that like you don't coach him or don't get on him. Just kind of leave him alone, let him make some mistakes out there, then he's going to flourish even more. 
And that's what he did last game. And he's had spots throughout the year where he's shown flashes. But, you know, I have to do a better job of, you know, just kind of extending his leash. And, and I did that on, uh, on Monday, and he showed, he showed well. Talked about learning. You're going to hit the halfway point of conference play whenever Saturday's game ends, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening, whenever that is. What have you learned first half of conference, uh, your first trip through the Southland, and also kind of spinning forward? What does this team have to improve upon second half of conference to, to make that push toward the tournament? Yeah. Um, you know, one thing I learned is that this conference is really good this year. I, I can only speak on my experience from this year. Um, you know, the teams are pretty balanced. Uh, you know, McNeese has has shown that they are, you know, like above everyone else. But, but they've also been in some dogfights of games as well. Um, you know, so teams from top to bottom, um, you know, are very good. Um, you know, and you got to be dialed in. You got to be prepared. Um, I mean, one thing that we have to continue to do is, you know, like we have moments as as people have seen of um, you know of winning games and and. And being in games, we have to be complete uh, in conference play. You know, like you have to be complete for, you know, you're for 40 minutes. And obviously, there are going to be mistakes. There are going to be runs in there. But you got to answer runs. Whenever, whenever someone hits us with a big run, we, we struggle to, to, to respond. Sometimes we'll, you know, like against Commer, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Corpus Christi, um, you know, we were down 20 at home. Um, that's unacceptable, but we cut it to the two possession game uh, with four minutes to go. Uh, you know, but we got to value every possession. We got to value that basketball, not turn it over, no live ball turnovers, no turnovers, period. But you're going to have turnovers in games, charges, travels, et cetera. Um, you know, so like we just have to understand how important conference play is. This isn't, it's not like we're playing Presbyterian anymore, North Florida. This is, it's, you know, some people say, well, it's just basketball, another game. No, it's really not. It's conference basketball, and there's something at the end of the tunnel uh, that we are all looking to strive to get, and um, you know, we have to value conference games a lot more. At the end of this rotation of away, home, away, home, away, home, away is an away game at Nichols on Monday, and that's a team you talk about playing 40 minutes. They seem way too comfortable at playing 45. You want to finish them off at the 40-minute mark. What have you seen from them aside from their propensity to win road overtime games? Yeah, Coach Sadler's done a great job with them, man. He, he's kind of in a small ball. Um, you're shooting threes, give it to the best player in the West, uh, on, in the, you're kind of the pinch post, and he operates there. Uh, you're a very balanced team. They shoot the three ball really well. They're really dangerous when they are shooting the three ball really well. Um, you know, like they defend well. They kind of mix it up with some zones, some man-to-man. -man. He's done a great job. I give him all credit. You know, he's one of the youngest Division One coaches uh, um, in the country. I think he is the, is the youngest. You know, so you know, I'm going to give him his flowers for what he's done. And, and, you know, I think he's won maybe four or five overtime games. And his team is learning how to win games no matter how it is. You know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, it's a W on the left column. So, but are we going to go down there and, and you know, you know, and do what we do, prepare? And, and, you know, I mean, everybody's beatable in this league. There's no one that we can't beat. Um, but we have to, uh, you know, go out there and beat them. We, we, you know, we can't get uh, – um, we can't beat ourselves, uh, you know, which has happened several times. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you.